Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This video aims to introduce you uh, with uh, paper one, new syllabus, 2024 onwards. Now, when you look at the details of assessment, we find that according to Cambridge new syllabus, paper one is now a reading paper, and the time for this paper is two hours. And the marks for this paper are 50, mar 50 marks, and that makes the 50 percent weightage of the total paper of 100 marks. So now both paper reading and writing paper, they share the same weightage. So it has structured and extended writing questions. Questions are actually based on two reading texts and it is externally assessed. Now, when we look at the details uh, of assessment, we find that uh, reading paper uh, has two hours time which I have already told you and the 50 marks are allotted to it. Now here candidate answer all the question. There is no choice in the two compulsory sections. So there are two compulsory section and there are two passages uh, to be attempted from. Now candidates write the answers in the space provided on the question paper. I'm going to show you the sample paper as well. And the text are printed in the question paper, which is called insert. So you get an insert where there are two passages. So dictionaries in this paper are not allowed. Now, section A, which is uh, called comprehension and use of language paper language, it is of 25 marks. Now, here is the passage for section A. And on this, these type of question answers are given to you. Now, first set of question answer is of 16 marks and these questions are of varied number. Now, here is the space provided for writing the answers. Now, uh, section A, comprehension, uh, 25 marks, further part are 69 marks, language based questions and these are the questions set. Don't worry, I'll be making some detailed videos to explain it. Afterwards, when we look at section A, comprehension and use of language, 25 marks and uh, question number one and question number two are based on section A. So here uh, we have a series of sub question based on text A, which is a narrative text. Narrative text means that it is a part of some story and these are short answer testing understanding of both explicit and implicit question. Now this text is approximately 900 words long and it is either um, the 20th or the 21st century text. So this question tests the following reading assessments uh, objective for the 16 marks. That is the uh, demonstrate understanding of explicit meaning and the understanding of implicit meaning. So explicit meanings are the questions which are uh, which can be directly stated from the text and implicit are uh, your understanding based questions. Now question two uh, in uh, first section is uh, based on your use of language. Now here uh, there are short answers. They are worth of nine marks. So the first question is of 16 marks and second question is of nine marks, which is basically based on language. Now this question tells the following reading assessment objectives for nine marks. That is demonstrate understanding of how writer achieve effect and influence reading. So it is based on the language skills of the text. Now, the other comprehension is um, called section B and it is a summary and short response question for 25 marks. This type of comprehension uh, passage is given to you, which is divided into sub paragraph and here is the task to write question. Clear instructions are given. The word limit is also given and this is the B part of it where you have to write a short response question. Now, this part carries 25 marks. When we go into the detail of section B, we uh, see that it is actually question 3A, where you have to write a summary task in response to text B. Now, candidates write a summary as a continuous text, not in note form. And the word limit for this is 150 words. 
Now, question 3B is a short response question and it gives a short response question to show understanding of implicit meanings and um, attitude in uh, response to text B. Now, this question, this particular question tests the, uh, tests the ability to demonstrate understanding of implicit meaning and your attitude and this has five marks. The summary is for 20 marks while this part uh, of the question is of five marks. So uh, text B is approximately 550 to 600 words long and this question tests these your abilities in reading, demonstrate, understanding of explicit uh, meaning and select and use information for the specific purpose and this question for the writing it has or it you know assesses the ability to organize and structure ideas and opinion for deliberate effect and use of range of vocabulary and sentences now if we look at the summary of both comprehensions then section a which is a comprehension and use of language it has in all two questions question one and question two now question one is a comprehension task and it has um, questions, multiple questions for 16 marks and question two is use of language task and these are carrying questions of different uh, types for remaining nine marks. So there are total, total in total there are 25 marks. Now the second comprehension is called comprehension and use of language and here Question three is having summary task for 20 marks and short response question for five marks. So I'm sure that you are, you know, well informed with the uh, syllabus and the uh, pattern of the of paper one. Best of luck and watch the next videos for further details.